This video is for stain and soft deposit removal procedures. We will be utilizing a mannequin. So some of the steps will be slightly different and we will not be able to complete some steps. Please refer to your clinic manual verbiage for your exact protocol. You will review the patient's medical history. You will assess the indications and contraindications for use of the dental hygiene handpiece. You will explain the procedure to the patient and then prepare the patient with protective eyewear, patient bib, patient towels given to patient. You will apply lubrication to the tooth colored restorations and sealants if needed. And then you would apply disclosing solution to the entire dentition. And this is optional. It is recommended for you. Your instructors will apply disclosing when we evaluate you. So it's to your benefit to apply it to help you see where to polish. We will not do this on the mannequin. Correct patient position. Chair needs to be in supine position, height of chair correct, patient's head position correct for treatment area. Maintain a modified pin grasp resting the dental hygiene handpiece in the V-shaped area of the hand, establishing a secure fulcrum. You will perform procedure utilizing proper technique throughout. Light adjusted to adequately illuminate treatment area. We will be not using the light um, for demonstration purposes. The Profi angle technique. You will fill the Profi's angle cup with the agent and distribute over a few teeth at a time. The rheostat here, you will use your toes in order to activate. No. Yes. And you need to make sure the switch is flipped away from the blue dot. That way we don't have any water. We do not have profi paste for the mannequin, so we will improvise. You will spread it across several teeth before you activate your polisher. We're going to be doing the anterior teeth so that you can see better for the technique. Modified pin grass resting the dental hygiene handpiece in the V-shaped area of the hand, establishing a secure fulcrum, holding the cup almost in contact with but not touching the tooth surface. Position the rheostat so that the neutral position can be maintained. Keep both feet flat on the floor. Operate the rheostat with the toe of the shoe and regulate speed so that the cup rotates at a slow steady speed using the lowest possible speed. Adapt and apply each cup to each tooth surface using light intermittent pressure and a continuous overlapping wiping motion. Move from the cervical third of the tooth crown to the incisal occlusal surface from one interproximal surface to the other. Note that it is best to begin at the distal surface of the most posterior tooth, but for demonstration purposes, we are doing the anterior teeth. Apply enough pressure to flare rim of cup, especially into the gingival sulcus and interproximal areas. Apply cup to tooth surface for only one to two seconds. Remove cup and wipe excess agent and saliva on gauze throughout as needed. You will refill cup with agent and move to the next few teeth and repeat these above steps shown. Notice how he smeared the agent first. He's flaring the cup. You will need to tilt the cup into the distal line angle. You'll have it then straight for the lingual or facial, and then you'll tilt it again for the mesial. Otherwise, you will miss all of these interproximal areas. The next demonstration will be the occlusal profi brush technique. You will apply the agent to the occlusal profi brush, distribute over a few surfaces at a time. Still using the modified pin grass, resting the dental hygiene handpiece in the V-shaped area of the hand. You will establish a secure fulcrum, hold occlusal profi brush almost in contact with but not touching the tooth surface, activate the rheostat, and regulate speed so that occlusal profi brush rotates at a slow, steady speed, using the lowest possible speed. Apply and adapt the occlusal profi brush straight down into each tooth surface. Use light intermittent pressure in a continuous scrubbing motion. 
Move from one occlusal surface and sizal edge to the next. Apply enough pressure to flare the occlusal porphyry brush filaments. Apply occlusal porphyry brush to tooth surface for only one to two seconds. You would remove occlusal porphyry brush and wipe off the excess agent and saliva on gauze. And you would reapply agent to the occlusal porphyry brush and move to the next occlusal surface or incisal edge and repeat the above steps. You will rinse throughout this procedure. Next, we will demonstrate flossing. Floss entire the dentition or use other appropriate oral hygiene aids as needed. We are just going to demonstrate floss today. So flossing procedures hold a 12 to 15 inch length of floss between the thumb and index finger of each hand. Grasp firmly with only half inch of floss between fingertips. Work the floss slowly between the teeth in a short sawing motion. Avoid snapping through the contact area. Curve the floss around the mesial or distal surface in a C shape. Press the floss firmly against the tooth. Move gently beneath the gingiva until tissue resistance is felt. Slide the floss horizontally and vertically with pressure to remove biofilm. Maxillary teeth. Direct the floss up by holding the floss over two thumbs or a thumb and an index finger. Rest a side of a finger on teeth of the opposite side of the maxillary arch to provide balance in a fulcrum. He's going to demonstrate the maxillary now. All right, so with this, I like there's a big long piece and I always say that you have a dirty side and you have a clean side. So I wrapped it around a lot on this side. So this is my clean side because this is all clean floss and this is gonna be my dirty side. Use my index fingers or pointer fingers to direct and also my thumbs. So I'm gonna seesaw in, go all the way down, go back and forth, go up, and then I'm gonna go to the other side without coming out of the contact. Go down, go side to side, up, come back out. But as I go back further, I'm gonna start using my pointer fingers to point back, go saw, pull forward to make my C shape, and then push back to make my C shape. For mandibular teeth, direct the floss down by holding the two index fingers on the top of the strand. One index finger holds the floss on the lingual aspect and the other on the facial aspect. The side of the finger on the lingual side is held on the teeth of the opposite side of the mouth to serve as a fulcrum or rest. And then as I get, when I go through a set of teeth, when I go to the next set, I don't use that same piece. I make sure I go forward and use a clean piece in between that set so you're not spreading bacteria. Then when I get to the point where I can no longer, I have no left, I'm gonna wrap more around this finger and let more on this go. For other appropriate oral hygiene aids, refer to the manufacturer's directions for procedures. and you would obviously rinse your patient afterwards. This concludes the stain and soft deposit procedures.